If you own a BenQ SW hardware calibrated display, you may run into a setting when you run Palette Master Element and you try to do a calibration, and that has to do with the ICC profile type. You have the option to choose between matrix, 16-bit LUT, and 8-bit LUT. What are those LUTs? What difference does it make if you pick between all those different options? And does that LUT have anything to do with the LUT that's built into the display? In this video, I'm going to answer all of those questions for you. I'm Art Suwansang, BenQ Ambassador. Let's get started. Before we start, please subscribe if you are new and hit on the notification bells to be updated every time I upload cool new videos like this. So when you have Palette Master Element launched like I have here, I always tell you to go in if you watch my guides before to use the advanced setting. We're going to click start here, profiling, click next. And we're going to go and leave everything in this screen right now under display setting at the default value because that's not what we're really talking about here. What we're really talking about here is this checkbox under profile type. So there are three different things. There are matrix, 16-bit LUT, and 8-bit LUT. What are they? How is this different than the LUT that's built into the display? So let's first talk about that. So your display has a ship, has a computer and a ship built into it. And on that ship, there is a lookup table or a 3D LUT. That is a LUT. That's the hardware LUT that's built into your display. And it has nothing to do with this in Palette Master Element. What you're choosing in Palette Master Element right now is you're choosing between the way how the program is going to build that ICC profile for you. Primarily, what I'm going to talk about here is two different methods, matrix and 16-bit LUT. We're going to forget about the 8-bit LUT because that's a really small LUT and we're not really going to use that in this case. If you choose matrix, Palette Master Element is going to run the calibration on your display and is going to use a relative 3x3 three three matrix grid to build the ICC profile for your display. In that case, what it's going to do is measure the value and all the values that it's measuring is going to be relative to the next value because it's using a 3x3 three three grid. From there, it's going to package all those together and put it into an ICC profile. Regarding the white point with the matrix, what it's going to do is store the white point separately from the matrix itself. This way, you can have an ICC profile. So the best way, though, to really build an ICC profile in this case is to use the software capability that is built into Palette Master Element and is to use the 16-bit LUT. When you choose 16-bit LUT, what it's actually doing is that it's using the 16-bit 3D model that is built into Palette Master Element. Again, this is the part that's built into Palette Master Element and it has nothing to do with the 3D LUT on the display. So essentially, it's going to use that 3D LUT, the software part that's built into Palette Master Element to create the ICC profile for you. Essentially, when you reference a large color volume, such as a 16-bit LUT here in this case, you're going to get much truer, better accurate colors. So in essence, if you choose a 16-bit LUT mode, this is really a better way to build the profile using Palette Master Element. Something to keep in mind, though, is that sometimes when you select 16-bit LUT, the profile validation will fail. And if that ever happens, a fallback to Matrix is always a good idea to use because it does still produce a decent profile. It may not be as good as 16-bit LUT, but any of these options will work just fine for your display calibration. Anyway, I hope that you find this explanation of the difference between Matrix and 16-bit LUT helpful in Palette Master Element. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. Please give this video a like if you find it helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload cool new videos like this. And until next time, art is right.